And accused of threatening to kill Congressman Scott Taylor will undergo a mental evaluation. We broke the new developments about Wallace Godwin's case on 13 News Now at noon. Investigative reporter Laura Geller joins us with what she has uncovered since then. Well, guys, Wallace Godwin's lawyer is worried he is suffering from a mental disease or defect which would render him incompetent. Filed late today, a judge approved the newly filed motion. It says there are significant concerns the Virginia Beach man is unable to understand the charge he's facing and what's going on. The U.S. Attorney's Office did not oppose the new motion and order. You may remember Wallace Godwin is charged with going to Congressman Taylor's office and threatening Taylor and his aides back in March. Court records allege the Virginia Beach man said, Scott is having an event this Saturday. I am going to get my shotgun and do something about this. I will just handle this myself. The latest motion reveals Godwin was hospitalized for almost a week last month, but it doesn't detail if this was related to his mental state. His lawyer writes the 69-year-old was evaluated in 2017. That's when a local neuropsychologist diagnosed him with major neurocognitive disorder with delusional thinking. Now the judge has ordered a local doctor to evaluate Godwin within 30 days, leaving a deadline of early next month. We've learned taxpayers don't have to foot the bill for this. The paperwork says it is done at the defendant's expense. Today, Congressman Taylor's office tells us we are confident in our law enforcement apparatus and remain confident that the judicial system will take the steps appropriate for this situation. And we won't be able to tell you what that doctor's evaluation says. The judge has ordered it and other medical records to be sealed. Laura Geller, 13 News Now. Now, this isn't Godwin's first issue with officials. Court records show Godwin threatened then-Virginia Beach Mayor Will Sessoms the month before the Taylor incident. And last year, Godwin filed a civil lawsuit for $500 million, claiming the government was not enforcing federal marijuana laws.